In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your WordPress homepage. So be sure to watch till the end for all the details. What's going on in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your WordPress homepage. So we, in the last video, I showed you how to start your website and create it for free. And now I'm going to show you how you can sort of customize your homepage. So what you're going to need is to click the customize button, which is down here in the bottom right hand corner. And once you click this customize button, it's going to load up the customize option. Okay, now we got to the customize page. So this is sort of where you customize your whole home page. And this is probably the most useful thing on WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and click thanks, got it. And first we need to sort of edit our site title. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click the edit button right here on the site title. And then we're going to change this to music blog 2017 and then we can add a tagline and um, maybe something like talking about the best music of 2017 and then we could sort of ha have a site icon and everything later but this is important right here the footer credit um, the default one, if we'll scroll down here, it says blog at wordpress.com. And I would highly suggest changing that to at least the WordPress logo. And so we can click that. And once this loads up, you can see down here, there's a, just a little WordPress logo. And it's a lot smaller than something like um, blog at wordpress.com. So, you can go ahead and save that and that can be publishing. So next we're going to talk about the colors and the background. So we can go into colors and background and sort of choose what we want. So we got some uh, different color options we can choose right here. I'm going to go with this black and red one and this will sort of change up everything right here. As you can see as I put my cursor over the text, the text turns red which is very useful. There's search right here that turned red and it's got a sort of new color scheme to it. So we can go ahead and save and publish that. And then next we are going to do fonts. So fonts, I would highly suggest that you change the font unless you really, really love the font for the template because with the fonts, you can sort of change it to look how your genre should be. So we can go ahead and click these fonts and sort of change our fonts up. And that's just simply fonts. And then we got the header image. Now, we probably do not want to keep this uh, barn and field if we're going to do a music thing. So we may want to look for some kind of music header and if they don't have it, we may need to create our own because if you'll look at my website, which I'll have in the link in the description below, you can see that I have a custom header where it's um, sort of my YouTube banner, but it's very, very expanded. But for now, I think I'm going to go with what looks like city lights for the header image and then we're going to go ahead and click back on that. Okay, so now we have our content options and when you're doing your blog display, you want to do a post excerpt because with a full post, it's going to show the whole article and they're going to have no point to click on it and that's going to be horrible with ads because if you have less pages, then they're not going to have any need to click on to the page to see the article when it's all there in front of them. And then display date, that's up to you. Display category, once again, up to you. Display tags, um, don't know. With most people, I would highly suggest not displaying your tags because um, it's sort of like your secrets, basically, of how you're ranking your articles. And if you're doing really good with that, someone else could see that and they could just copy your tags and be ranking just like you. Display author, um, if you're the only one that's 
uh, writing articles on this I would not display author but if you aren't then I would definitely choose uh, to display author feature image display uh, on blog and archives display on single post and display on pages and once again that's all up to you and we're gonna go ahead and save and publish that and then we are gonna go back and let's talk about widgets now widgets are extremely important it's sort of the backbone of your website for WordPress so first you have your sidebar and this one we have search but I would actually delete this because I don't know I wouldn't really put a search right there but we can go ahead and add a widget and we have our dip different options right here and I guess we would actually use an audio player for this because if we had a music website maybe we were doing a podcast or something or maybe we just have sort of a radio set up so we could add audio and maybe pull play a full I don't know 24 hour 48 hour loop of music that you could play so that would be very very useful right there so we're gonna go ahead and title this uh, music radio and then we don't have any um, audio to add so we're gonna go ahead and save changes next up we have the footer one now if we scroll down here it's our archives if you look on my website I think I have one of the best setups for your footers um, it's all text widgets except for um, a email sign up but uh, I feel like it's the best because it sort of can push traffic to my YouTube channel um, and it can also make you uh, check out some my um, my merchandise because um, my first one is to check out merchandise my second one is to check out my videos and then that third one is for checking out uh, an email where you can sort of type your email in and you will be notified every time something happens with the website and that is extremely helpful for creating an email list so first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this widget and add a new one and actually I would create a calendar for this site so we can talk about upcoming events in music so music release dates and then over time we can sort of set up that calendar for when certain albums or singles are going to release and sort of save and publish that and we can go now to footer 2 and footer 2 is just like footer 1 we're going to remove the navigation option that one's actually a pretty good one um, over archive the navigation so if you want to keep navigation I would highly suggest doing it so looking through here we also as you can see there are a lot of widgets you can choose from and we're gonna put a Facebook page plugin because that's important because we can sort of build up a following on Facebook too and like I said earlier with this site like we're setting this up so we can build our personal brand all the way around you could have a company but with me with my website I sort of use it as to help build my personal brand so the Facebook page URL could be very very important so we can put Facebook and then we could leave a URL and then we can save and publish that and then as you see down here uh, you have to configure it and then I think it's gonna leave a link that you can click on so that you can go to their Facebook page and like their page and uh, add them as a friend so then we have the search the search could be huge if you're writing articles and I wanted to show some other ones Google Translate I don't know um, how that's gonna work unless you're in a foreign country and you're making a blog for other people in like the United States your target market's in the United States but you don't speak English Google Translate could be helpful but 
with Google Translate, I highly, highly, highly uh, want you to probably avoid Google Translate because Google Translate's not trustful at all. Because I've taken some Spanish classes and then tried using Google Translate, it does not translate to the same thing at all. So I would avoid Google Translate um, for the most part unless you desperately need it. Um, we can look at some milestones, community, uh, you could add pages of all the pages on your site. You can just add text like I've done, a Twitter timeline, um, upcoming events, a video. So we're actually going to do a video, I think, for this one. So we could go ahead and make a video explain the site, and I'll think I will make a video for this and add it in some downtime between these videos, and then I'll show you it in another video. So check this out first. And then we can have a video right here, and we can go ahead and save and publish that. And we can get out of our widgets now. And they have this static front page option. I mean, I go with the static front page sort of talking about what the website's about completely. This can be like a mission statement area, but if you want to just go ahead and put your latest post, you can do that just to sort of show off like what's the newest thing you've been listing. But most likely how the traffic is coming in, uh, they got to your website by your latest post. So maybe if they're clicking on the home page, they would want to see a mission statement. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, have the front page be about the about page for now, but I may change that up later. And we're going to go ahead and save and publish that and back out of that. And I think that's for the most part just completely customizing your home page. We have this menus option, but uh, we won't be able to edit the menus until we confirm our email address. I have yet to confirm the email address for this, so I will confirm the email address and then show this in the next video. So let me know what you guys thought if I didn't describe this good, but this is sort of just this toolbar on the side from clicking customize down here in the bottom right hand corner will sort of let you fully customize your site. There's also these buttons right here, the little blue buttons. So if you don't know exactly how to get to a certain area, you can always just click the edit and edit it from there. And it can be faster, it could be a shortcut. For instance, if you don't know um, how to edit the footer, you can always just come down here and click that. So I hope this video was sort of um, informative for you on how to customize a WordPress homepage. And if you want to see more of these WordPress tutorials, I'm doing a full series on these. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so you'll get notified every single time a new WordPress tutorial comes out. And also check out some of the other videos on my channel because I talk about sort of how you could make money on a WordPress website which we will be getting into in this series. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video.